Okay, this is a video on the materiality of language. Now, I'm a materialist. I believe everything is material. The traditional problem with materialism uh, is that what is the correspondence of what we know to this external material world? And that problem is a problem with the definition of material. If we use a skeptic's definition of material, we don't have that problem. Because instead of saying there's a correspondence or the problem of correspondence or a need for a principle of correspondence between our idea that there's a blue car there and a real external blue car, the definition of material is based on perceptions. Material perceptions adhere to certain criteria. They pass certain criteria. Those criteria can even change. Materialism is just a theory. What we think is material can change. And they, the general pattern of these is that they are principles of consistency. Some of the principles that we call metaphysics, which are not really metaphysics, but are strong principles of consistency, like the laws of identity and, and continuity and uh, conservation of energy and in general conservation uh, principles apply to things like mass and whatnot, things that are material. When you see uh, some quantity that doesn't seem to be conserved, either you don't see where the uh, where the, the escape is going, or you found that it's probably not material. So like love in a situation, not exactly material. Now the, the program that makes the feeling of love, that's material. But the quantity of love that does not have a material extension. It's not conserved, therefore, and this is one of the clues that makes me believe that. So with this definition of materiality, when we say that there is a blue car, what we're saying is that we're reporting that the model I have made about what I think my perceptions mean, right? I'm getting a bunch of blue perceptions and shape. The shape and color has me think I create leads me to create this model of a car which is blue and if when I say I know this is a blue car what I'm saying is that I know that that is my model of what I think those perceptions mean then I'm on a much stronger footing of course to be really strong you have to always go back to the perception someone can make you go back to the perceptions immediately well what did you really see well I saw blue are you sure it wasn't a blue motorcycle it was shooting by you have to go back to the perceptions. So a material fact is, is not undeniable, it's just supported with these material criteria. And of course, they can always be challenged on material criteria. And that's how we deal in materialism. Now, language in this schema is a material phenomena, and we pretty much have a good idea of what creates it, the human mind. Not even any other animal mind, and that's one of the things that's interesting about it. Languages, we understand it, right? Now, of course, this is the debate. The other kinds of communication, whether they should be considered language and things like this. Generally, I think that there is a distinction, and the way we solve this distinction semantically is, you know, mammalian language or, you know, body language. You qualify the word language, and language alone tends to mean human language, right? But strictly speaking, uh, I kind of like that language is communication and that we ultimately use those as synonyms, but it's also true that we tend to uh, use language in things where we're uh, making a metaphor, drawing a similarity to human language, and, uh, and communication where we're just talking about the transfer of information or whatever, behavioral interaction, however you want to analyze that. So language is definitely a phenomena that is material if material means it comes from our perceptions right it always has to come there is no experience of language it doesn't come for our from our perceptions even when we hear ourselves let's say we learned the um, you know the Aeneid when we were children and in our head sometimes we just hear yeah, okay yeah this happens to me that's a perception sure it's my brain creating it but even to communicate with itself the brain has to create a perception and if the consistent perceptions, including mental perceptions, like hunger, okay, it's not that easy to see that it, how it directly has a material component, but it's still a consistent perception and plays a role in a material interpretation of reality. So this is why I say everything should be interpreted materially, not just materially, but materialism is one of the few systems that can be applied to everything. You know, a, a theory of 
art criticism is not necessarily to be applied to everything. A theory of engineering, a philosophy of en engineering, not necessarily applied to every. Well, that one I pretty much would apply to everything too. But you know, some systems are subsets. Well, materialism can be applied to anything, and. Um, in a phenomenon like language, you have to start by applying materialism. Then you can go on to these other higher level semiotic and what it means for humans and, and as if the dream world was a metaphysical. As long as you start knowing that it is physical and that somehow through representationalism we get what you call a virtual reality. And suddenly the virtual reality behaves a lot like a platonic ideal world. As long as you start remembering that you create an arbitrary playground in which you get to pretend that you have that platonic uh, realism or idealism. You know, you can cr create a playground of, of mathematics and within it it's like this world that we're told the whole world is by philosophers like Plato. We'll just start by accepting the, the material nature that we're doing things from our perceptions, whether we know that that materiality is external or dreamlike, that's secondary. You know, if we start with that, then you could create these playgrounds and have all of the benefits that we, for example, have gotten from mathematics you know, without making an epistemological error and confusing the whole of your overall worldview. That's my position. Cheers.